Hey guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel, and this is the day three of our iOS development. Okay, guys, and today we are gonna learn about uh, how to create a new view controller. Okay, guys, so let's jump on the topic and let's do the things. Okay, so guys, uh, basically this is our storyboard, and you can zoom in or zoom zoom out it. Okay, guys, uh, with your you know what uh, touchpad. Okay. So guys, uh, if you are working with the storyboard, then I would like to recommend you hide the left panel, okay? Because we don't need the left panel right now, okay? So this is your storyboard, guys, and this is the uh, initial view controller, which is given by your uh, Xcode while de uh, developing a new application with a single view app, okay? Guys? But let's say uh, I don't have any uh, view controller. I don't want to define the initial any view controller, so I can delete it like this and so i have a storyboard file but we are uh, deleted with the our view controller and this is the class which is has been associated with our uh, you know what uh, view controller so let me delete this class also and i will show you how you can create these files by yourself also okay so let me delete it Now while deleting, uh, make sure uh, you are clicking on the move to trace instead of remove reference. Okay guys, so make sure this thing and be confident with this thing. So don't do the remove reference. I will tell you what is the meaning of remove reference and move to trace. Okay guys, so now we have a blank storyboard. Okay, guys. so this is our blank storyboard and in this uh, storyboard, I want to design a new screen. Okay, or I want to define a new initial view controller. Then how we can do it guys? Just, you need to go on this library. Okay, object library. So you need to click on this. Okay guys, and you can find here multiple, as you can see guys, UI components are there. Okay guys, so there are lots of UI components are there, which uh, is which are predefined and you can use by yourself. Okay guys and there are some uh, more options are there like hide the left panel or show the left panel right panel okay guys so as you can see guys and also the bottom panel and here in the bottom panel as you can see there are two windows okay so you can uh, hide the left or right okay in this way uh, you can use okay now the main thing is what guys I want to design a new view controller here okay so let me close uh, or squeeze this window okay and also this panel now i want to uh, here i want to design a new screen so first of all i will choose the view controller guys okay so make sure you are choosing the view controller okay so let me choose the view controller and as you can see guys uh, while drag and drop uh, so there is a new view controller and if you click once again on this object library so there are uh, some more view controllers are there like table view and um, collection view controller, split view controller, PS view controller, GL kit uh, view controller. So guys, these are the view controllers which uh, give you uh, some predefined components within the view controller. Okay, and this is the only view controller which gonna give you the empty screen. I hope clear to you what I'm trying to say here. Now guys, so this is our view controller. Now, if you want to drag and drop some new elements here, like uh, I want to uh, draw. Uh, I want to draw a label here. So let me type here label. Uh, you can filter out the, the things, okay? And let me drag and drop the label here, okay? And now you want to give the uh, text or you want to change the text. So first of all, let's zoom it. So by default the text is label, okay? So let's uh, go on the left panel, okay? Sorry, right panel, guys. And here. If you select this element, then there are some options like you can define the class, custom class, or by default class will be what guys UI label class. Okay, so the initially this object uh, is come from the UI label, and you can define the model also here. Okay, and there are some more properties are here. So we will see while developing the iOS application. Okay, now if you click on this, then it's gonna show you the attributes and properties okay attributes and properties of this label so guys as you can see you can set the text color font dynamic type okay you can set the alignment also of the text 
you can set the total number of lines for this level you can uh, set the behavior like highlighted or enabled you can set the baseline line break auto shrink so these are the properties guys and i know very well uh, you are very familiar with these properties what happens if we change the color background color okay and there are some view uh, properties are there so what is the view properties basically guys each and every object which you gonna uh, use in our ios each and every element is derived from your view okay so you can say all the components whatever we are going to use is child for our ui view okay i hope clear to you what i'm trying to say here and here you can set the content mod semantic tags okay tags are used to guys basically uh, to identify the element as unique in the particular uh, screen okay and there are some uh, interactions you can uh, enable the interaction or disable the interaction like touching or tapping on the uh, element okay guys you can set the alpha also so alpha is nothing but guys its background okay so uh, if you want to make the transparent its background then you can choose the alpha you can give the value from 0 to 1 okay like 0 0.1 0 0.2 you can give like this so it will make the transparent background okay you can set the background color you can set the tint color okay guys so what is tint color we will see further don't worry and there are some more uh, you know what options like hidden if you want to hide the uh, label initially okay so what we want to do here guys we want to change the text here okay so let me change the text here and let me give the hello world as the text okay so as you can see guys this is our hello world okay fine so this is our hello world and now uh, let's if we want to run then just click on this okay and you can run if you want to mo open more files uh, in the new tab then you can right click and you can open in new tab okay so we are no need to go with these files so let me close these files we just need an one storyboard and this is our storyboard guys so now we have printed our uh, hello world and now let's run it so guys uh, here as you can see this is our target means our module and this is the, these are the simulators so if you click on this button then it's gonna show you the all available simulators on which you can test your app okay so for right now i am choosing iphone xr you can choose by yourself iphone 5s you can test your screen on the 5s 6 6x plus okay guys so i hope uh, you uh, clear to you what i'm trying to say here now guys our app is gonna launch okay so let's click on the simulator so it comes here now it is going to on and now our app is launched so guys okay so there is nothing why because we didn't define our uh, you know what initial view controller so we didn't told uh, what will be our uh, initial uh, screen okay so how we can tell just select your view controller okay guys and here in the properties of the view controller as you can see guys you can choose is initial view controller okay so if you click on this as you can see the arrow symbol cam and as you can see guys uh, the error it is also showing here fail to instantiate the default view controller for ui uh, storyboard file okay so i hope uh, clear to you what i'm trying to say here and now let's run it once again so guys as you can see our hello world is there and this is our label i hope clear to you what i'm trying to say here now guys uh, this is for the, this video and in the next video we will uh, we will learn more about our label okay and how we can uh, change the font color and background okay and how we can change the position of label so we will see in the next video so guys if you like the video then hit the like button if you are having any suggestion or any question you can comment in the comment section if you really like the video then you can uh, share with your friends and if you had this video then you can uh, dislike this video also and i will see you in the next video happy coding bye bye take care